my great pleasure to welcome you to the launch. To the launch of these online materials based on the life of Mabel Cooper, who is behind us. And we've got a really interesting morning for you, ending with refreshments. Um, a number of very good speakers. My name is Jan Wormsley. I was one of the authors of the online materials. So you can come to me. Richard was the other author. And you can come and complain to us if you don't mind. Um, my job is to tell you that the toilets are out there somewhere. They're very well hidden. Right, and they're very well hidden. As far as I know, we're not expecting a fire alarm of any kind, so should the fire alarms go off, we must evacuate on um, We are hoping to be able to share this event on Twitter, Facebook, other ways of, of making sure everybody hears about it. So unless anybody feels very uncomfortable with this, we are planning to, different people will be taking photographs and videos. We hope that is okay with you. Please let it be known if you feel very un un uncomfortable. And it's my pleasure, I think, there was no other practicalities to remember, uh, to introduce um, Jan Draper from the Health uh, Faculty of Wellbeing, Education, Education <laughs> and Language <laughs> Studies at the Open well. University. <laughs> and the Open University has been the, the founder of this initiative, so welcome, sir. Thank you, thank you, and, and thank you for inviting me. I'm one of Liz's colleagues, uh, as Jan said, uh, I'm based in Milton Keynes at, at the Open University. I just want to uh, reiterate Jan's welcome to everyone. It's great to see so many different people here who've had direct, indirect, um, uh, contact with, with the project or who are ju just collaborators uh, in what more of capacity. So welcome everybody. So this event uh, marks the OU's long association with research into the history of learning disability. The Social History of Learning Disability uh, was founded uh, back in 1980, 1994 rather, at the OU and is still going strong today and this has got an integral role in that. The group's work came to fruition with the funding of the Living Archive of Learning Disability History Project back in 2014, which has led to the creation of all of these resources for schools and colleges, which are, are being launched here today. The, uh, the, the resources build on, as I said, the legacy um, of the social history of learning disability, uh, and in particular the member Mabel Cooper, who died uh, back in 2013. Mabel believed passionately in the importance of educating the next generation about the history of learning disability to help change attitudes and improve people's lives. So the resources have been developed through collaboration between lots of individuals and groups, many of you represented in the room today, uh, including the OU, Disability History Month, uh, and access all areas with input from many other people. And it's also important to say that the resources have been tried and tested by teachers and by people with learning disabilities too, such as, as Paddy, who's going to be one of our speakers later this morning. So, over the next hour or so, we'll hear from people who've been involved in putting the resources together and we'll share some examples with you to give you a flavour of what they cover. We really hope you take these resources back to your organisations and share them widely. I was going to say wildly, but you can share them widely. <laughs> As it's so important that, uh, that students get a chance to engage with this important history. Some of you will know that the, the OU, um, its mission is to be open to people, places, methods and ideas. And it's, a, a, it's got a strong social justice agenda and it's committed to inclusion, equality and collaboration. So this project is like an epitome of all of those, uh, all of those values that the OU holds dear. So I'm going to hand over to Liz and to Vicky who are going to say a little bit more. Thank you very much. Thank you. 